Richard Cook. Okay, I think uh, there's plenty. Yesterday we had, uh, uh, we had a full slate of activities planned uh, to uh, uplink to the spacecraft. Uh, unfortunately, we had a little, uh, a little problem, a timing uh, issue that between ourselves and the DSN, the Deep Space Network, uh, where we attempted to, uh, to command the spacecraft or to, to uh, send, a send a set of commands to the spacecraft at a time at which the spacecraft receiver was off. For the most part, what you see is a surface which is being stripped down. In other words, the mantles that uh, are prevalent at the two Viking landing sites are almost gone here. There is a few uh, residual uh, uh, dunes, but for the most part, we see uh, boulders standing on the surface if, it's, if they're perched uh, above the soil. And here comes the uh, image processing lab with what's called an anaglyph. Uh, an anaglyph is a fancy word, is a fancy word for what was, uh, was done with uh, 3D comic books uh, 65 years ago. And uh, it's basically a red-blue composite. And you can see in this anaglyph a lot of the erosive detail, particularly off to the right. If you look, you can see in three dimensions those rocks and cobbles being stranded above the stripped surface in, in the Martian uh, Pathfinder Aeris Ballast landing site. 